Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to add music and jingles to our timeline project. So let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro and uh, we have our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorial project here and uh, we've worked on several tutorials already. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys how to add the audio effect. What we're going to do is go to our right hand side here where we have most of our editing options and we're going to go to the show and hide the music and sound browser. Open that up and then in the little drop down menu right here um, just below the sound effects you're going to want to scroll down till you see uh, iLive sound effects. You can either choose a jingle from here and most of these you can use on YouTube without getting a copyright um, warning on your video. So go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and play one of these and show you guys what a jingle is. And there's several different kinds here depending on what kind of theme the video you're making and I'm sure you'll be able to find one that's really nice. And then also you can go down to iTunes and then use a song from iTunes. Keep in mind that only 10 seconds of a copyright song can be used on YouTube before you will get a copyright um, notice on the video and it may not be available in some countries. But uh, for example, let's say uh, we want to play here. Let's find a song here, Disciple, Game On. 3 minutes and 27 seconds, <clears throat> you can go ahead and hit the uh, uh, space bar to play the song and here make sure it's the right song. And uh, also you can double click it to hear it play it, but all you gotta do is simply drag and drop the song and it'll put it, the entire song actually into your um, timeline. Let's say you only want a portion of the song and as we can see, tell actually that it, right here in the clip it's all red and we want to actually lower that volume that way it's not all red most of the time you want to keep it just just above the yellow right there as you can see on my line now and we can play it real quick and let it hear and that is actually still quite loud so you may even want to reduce that a little bit more just so you don't blow down your audience's ears but for now um, let's say you only wanted a portion of this what you want to do is basically find that portion where the you want the clip uh, that the sound for example to start and you're going to want to basically grab an end and then keep shrinking it until you get to that portion you can just hit hit the space button to play it and hear the sound also you can go down to you can go up to the very top here and where it says turn audio skimming on you can scroll through this audio and actually hear it that way you don't have to keep playing and pausing um, I'm gonna turn that off so that when we're scrolling over it, it doesn't annoy you guys. But then you can go ahead and just choose the portion you'd like. And once you found the portion, well, that's quite small actually. I'm gonna expand it just a little bit more here. Once you got the portion you you like, go ahead and put it wherever you'd like in the clip. You can either have it as a clip by itself, just the audio, or you can put it underneath of an actual video clip and have it playing in the background, just like this. And that is uh, very loud. <laughs> but that's the basics of adding jingles and music to your actual uh, timeline. You can also drag and drop uh, sound effects and audio effects and uh, music straight from your desktop and add them in as well. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys next tutorial and uh, later. So let my life be the proof, the proof of your